My last three videos have been negative, I guess. On, you know, I covered Sweet Lozenge, a bad sword. What else? An ancient sword, another bad sword, and uh, Muramasa, another bad sword. So I'm going to make a video of me not hating on a sword. I'm going to make a video of me, uh, I, I guess, liking a sword. So uh, we have Blood Moon Twins. I, I don't think I need to explain why this weapon is good, but number one, uh, this weapon has is pretty basic M1s. It doesn't really have special M1s. It's it's pretty generic M1s. In terms of M1s, this weapon is pretty mediocre, but the real good stuff about this weapon comes with the moves. Now, number one, Scarlet Slicer. Great damage, and they will absolutely destroy your enemy's dodges. It will absolutely destroy your enemy's dodges, and it also stuns them when you attack them with it, so you're also getting some good combos off of this. It's a really freaking good sword. And also, that's not even talking about the range. The range for this weapon is amazing. It reaches all, like pretty much all the way over there. So if we stand right here and all the way, that's a pretty far range we're looking at there. And it pretty much reaches the edge of that little stone, I want to say a stone corner over there. Really, really good range. And it drains a lot of dodges. And the amount of dodges it will drain we're talking about six dodges drained which is really good and that's also on top of it dealing really nice damage so it's a really good sword uh, next move we have crimson crescent oh my gosh the amount of times i've seen this in pvp i hate this weapon it's like it's it's a really nice weapon when you're using it but when you're not using it god man it hurts let's be honest you know the fight is over when they land this like 20 23 hits let's not count the the burn on my weapon let's just count the actual hit itself the, okay one hit of this and your dodges are gone your dodges are literally gone i don't care if you have human to give yourself extra dodges nothing is saving you once you get hit with this weapon it's pretty much over and it deals crazy damage this weapon is absolutely overpowered which you know what? There's an issue with this game when it comes to the swords, but I'll put that into a different video. But this weapon is absolutely busted. I mean, it's no surprise that everyone chooses to use this weapon in PvP. It's like, why would you not use a different weapon besides this? Completely overshadows the... Oops. It's not your time yet, Dark Leg. We will talk about you another time. But it's just, there isn't really much to say about this. And it's just, it's just, there's not really a lot to say about you know weapons that are like good because here's the thing when whenever when a weapon is good everyone kind of gets the general consensus of why it's good it's good for pve as well because of the huge uh hitbox and i'm willing to bet if you were to put like bloodthirsty stone on this to get some more life steal it would absolutely be nuts like i'm pretty sure if i go right here this probably hit all of them yeah it did that's a really huge hitbox it's just a really freaking good sword like there's just nothing else to say about it one thing I will say is, like, I guess the requirements are kind of hefty. Like, just a little bit, but not really. I mean, the sword is well worth it. I mean, shoot. <laughs> this is a grinding sword. Look like, look at this. And you just jump in the air. Boom, 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 boom. I mean, it, this... If I'm going to give the sword a grade, it's obviously going to be an S tier. This is an S tier sword. Amazing sword. Absolutely amazing. So, no, I don't just hate on all of the swords in the game. I just think it's more interesting to choose from the ones that are bad and not necessarily the ones that are good. I mean, this is just a pretty good sword. There isn't really too much to talk about here.